Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. And today we are gonna make it count by making delicious jackfruit tacos. You're gonna need a can of jackfruit, guys, okay? Once it's out, go ahead and drain it. If you would like to drain it overnight, go ahead, or you can just drain it while you're at work. How about that? When it comes out, it's gonna look a little intimidating, but don't be intimidated, I promise you. We're gonna break it down. You can use a fork to break it down or a food processor as well. Go ahead and keep the little seeds in there. If you wanna keep them, it's just extra, a little extra fun. Extra flavoring. Extra flavoring. <laughs> Once the jackfruit is broken down, it's going to look just like this. You want to mimic the meat of the taco. That is the whole goal of it. Yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and add in our wonderful taco spices. We have our delicious chili powder, paprika here, delicious flavorful cumin. Cumin goes great with everything. Some pink Himalayan sea salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. You can make a big bundle of this and put it in a jar. It'll be great. Save it for next time. Nutritional yeast key. Boosts the level of protein that's in this meal. It does. Mmm, Italian herbs and oregano. Gotta love it all. And red pepper flakes. It does seem it might be a little spicy now. So use accordingly, okay? You don't want to burn the roofs of the mouse out in your family, okay? It might be a little problem. <laughs> it'll keep them quiet for a little while. It will keep them, it'll keep them quiet it's for a little right. while. <laughs> We're gonna mix it all together. Look at that color, you can smell it already. Oh my goodness. And flavor is really the key to getting uh, people to try things that they may not normally eat, but if it's flavorful, they're gonna yes. love it. Okay, so we have it all mixed in here. Now, go ahead and add in your oil to your pan. Mm -hmm. Love this oil. It really makes it count with the sunflower oil and the canola oil. I'm telling you. Making it count. Delicious peppers and onions. Sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. And you kind of put the amount according to how much you want yeah, in here. Yeah. Uh, we personally like a lot of onion and oh, bell pepper. Oh, goodness, yes. Because uh, it just adds more layers of flavor. It does. It really does. These are frozen, and but they'll, they'll, they'll come fall. around very yeah. quickly. Yeah, they sure will. So once this is all kind of cooked a little bit more, we're going to add in our delicious jackfruit. And once we're done with the jackfruit, we'll add in our refried beans. And then guys, before you know it, it's going to be all done. I'm telling you, just easy peasy. And that's the thing, you're gonna eat better if you make your meals in a minimal amount of time. Minimal amount of time. Now this is the jackfruit. You wanna cook it for about, up to maybe about two minutes, okay? Basically, you're blending your things together. You're blending your foods and your flavors together, okay? Before we add in those refried beans. It's completely flavor laden. Flavor. <laughs> That's my new term, flavor laden. I love that, that's wonderful. Tacos are not tacos without refried beans. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of people really don't add refried bean to their you know, tacos. I noticed that as well. It does a multitude of things. Number one, it adds protein. Protein. Number two, it, it really makes the filling of the tacos a little more consistent and easier to handle. It does, mm -hmm. it does. And knowing that all of this is healthy for you, it'll just make you keep eating tacos over and over and over again. It's incredible and I just, I really could eat tacos every day. Me too. Because of the Me flavor too. and then knowing that I'm getting the protein that I need. Yes. Go ahead and add in some refried beans. And once you get all of this blended together, all that flavor, dinner will be served. Isn't that easy peasy, lemon squeezy? Yeah, and then once you know that your family's eating incredibly healthy and nutritious mm -hmm. food that tastes good, you'll feel really satisfied that you're giving yes, them what you they will. need. Yes. And you're doing this for yourself as well, so it's it's pretty awesome. Oh, look how amazing this looks. Our jackfruit has been cooking for about yum, yum, four yum. minutes. <laughs> and we'll give it a stir, and then I'm gonna give it a taste. You taste it before I do, because I am definitely gonna attack this. Let's just see. I know mm. it's delicious. I know now, it is. It's fantastic. But if you want to kick it up, add your peppercorn. Come on, let's do that. Now would be the time to add it. Add it in there. Now remember, this is to your liking, okay? I'm gonna give it a stir and then we're gonna plate this baby up and uh, get it going. Yeah. How about we start off with a soft shell? That would be awesome. And then let them, yeah, I think you guys will love it. So many options, especially this for the kids, the soft shell. Now we put the soft shells in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds, okay? Using a damp towel. I am so excited about this. And then let's try a hard one and as well. Get so you hard can get the, get the sense of what. Wonderful. How there we go. I'll hold that up for you. Look at the filling in there. You guys. 
How wonderful. And of course, if you're a cheese eater, you can add cheese and lettuce and salsa. Or you can do, instead of lettuce, you can do spinach kale. or kale. That's right. You're just layering it on, making, making it counts. And there you have it, jackfruit tacos. Come back for more nutritious and delicious recipes from the Berry Girls. Brought to you by Hen House Market. Make, make it counts.